day two of bean harvest here. Just got started this morning. Uh, this morning I had to, we serviced the town mines for a few hours. I don't know what time it is. Two hours, I think, but uh, the dust is flying now. It's actually pretty early, but I think it's only nine o'clock, something, nine of ten, something like that. Um, had a skid plate on the bottom of my head. One of them little bolts broke off that holds on with a clip. Had to weld a bolt onto that to get that fixed. And my air filter is plugged up because the cover won't latch on it right. So I blew that all out and then I ratchet strapped the cover on because we have to rivet little plastic tabs on the, on the air, fil air filter canister. That's what you want to call it. So I just got that sucked in a little bit tighter so it'll hopefully stay sealed and my air filter won't plug up today. Had one guard to fix on my head and what else? Mason did some work to his head. Uh, got that going. What else did I do? Oh, grease the combine. Just general maintenance. So anyway, we're up and rolling now. And some pretty good beans here. Good going. And hopefully we get ours done today. It'll be close, but I'm hoping to be able to get our beans done today. So I only had to do them for two days, hopefully, for ours. And then we got a, one other farms to go do. And that should only take one day. So two days of beans left. Not too bad. They're going to really dry, so they're going pretty easy. But uh, we're rolling through the field now. And uh, hopefully I, can, I think Emily's going to come out today with the drone and get some footage. So see how that goes. Well, I came to join the boys out in the field and to be able to get some good footage and <laughs> to be able to get you guys good footage of the soybean harvest or of soybean harvest without inhaling all the dust. This is me on the ground. <laughs> I should have brought a mask or something because it is dusty out here. We have not had rain in gosh, I don't know how long and there's no rain in the forecast until I believe maybe next sunday we'll have rain and that's a big maybe because we all know that weather changes today is monday and it's not scheduled for until next monday for next sunday so i doubt we'll have rain for the foreseeable future which i know in iowa last week they were posting about there's a lot of combine fires and stuff because it's super dry and super windy out there and it was super hot so hopefully Fingers crossed it doesn't happen here, and if that happened to somebody you know or to you, um, having combined fires, we feel for you because that sucks. That is not good at all, obviously. So, sending our thoughts to you. Mason's combine broke down in the last field that they were in. I'm not sure what exactly happened. So we've got Avery up here in his combine, and then this is the other farmer that I said who has been helping us out with harvest. So still got two combines going, which means we should be able to crank out these acres pretty quickly. I did not plant this field, if you can see. Once I move, you can see that it's actual rows. I did not plant this field, but I did plant Basically all of that over there, there's some beyond that and then another field like up over this hill that I also planted. So basically I spent the entire day here. I think actually, no, a day and a half is what I spent planting here. And I'm sure they're gonna be able to get it done with the two combines, three if Mason brings his back in like half a day. And then soybeans are done.
we call it maximum efficiency. Right here. Yep. Well, this is a field that I almost experienced my first time getting stuck all by myself. Right up there, there's a spring that comes in up there. Comes all the way down to here. Yep, I found it. The ground's looking a lot drier though than when I planted it. Yeah, right there you can see where I got. I went around it. Avery said I can drive once he does the headlands. Oh, you can even kind of see my tracks. <laughs> Somebody rotted this all off. Yep. Same with over there. Oops. This right here though, this was super wet. If she fits, she said she I can't even say it. <gasps> doesn't fit. wash out there. That was never the culvert's right there. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Is there another way to get back to this field? Well, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, you mean like over here? Thing is massive. Yeah, you can. Well, are you sure you don't want to just take your head off? Yeah. I should have got this from the outside. Dude. <laughs> I didn't know we were combining trees today. Do not let the green cart fall in there. There's a huge wash out there to the right. I just fell in. I barely got out of it. So don't go in that. Go to the tell yeah, them to go to, the, to the left. left. You'll see what I'm talking when you're crossing this culvert here that I just crossed. You gotta stay to the left, cheat it to the left. You'll see it on your right. It's pretty big. So many beans. Yeah, you gotta walk back and get these head cart. Okay, don't fall into a hole while I'm gone. I made it. I'm good. <laughs> That's, you know, everybody's got these big, fancy 40 and 45 foot heads. <laughs> Mason. <laughs> Mason, and uh, he can't get anywhere. I just wiggle my way through everywhere, my little 30 foot head. And to be honest, do I get more done in the day because I don't have to take my head on and off five, six times? I might. Just don't, saying. The world will never, never know. I can't speak to it. All right, get out. <laughs> well, this right here is a huge washout that Avery just drove into. literally just like gave away right here. Bree, what's down there? So this was the whole opening that he was trying to go through and as you can see there's trees everywhere. And uh, that. Bree and I are doing a long trek across the field to get the head carts. <laughs> Might as well pick up and carry out this giant rock that they luckily messed with the combine and take it out of the field. Should do some squats or something with it. It'll be a good workout of the day.
while we're really kicking up the gears here today. So I just moved Avery's head cart. This is another field that I planted and the field up over there that they're in right now, I planted part of it, but it's actually a pretty big field. And the other farmer who is combining with us, he has a bigger head than Avery does. So we're gonna let him keep going on the big open field here. And then Avery is gonna come back and start combining in this field which is smaller, and I am gonna go grab our second grain cart and run with him back here, which I have not drove a grain cart. I don't think I even drove. Oh no, I guess I drove one last year briefly, but for one day. Um, so, I mean, I got experience driving a tractor when I planted and stuff, so I should be able to figure it out, but you never know. So, let's go get in the grain cart. It's been a minute, but time to give her a go. Oh, well, we got Emily in the grain cart right there. We're about to dump on the go, I hope. And I'm hoping with this camera angle, you guys can uh, see how it goes. See how she does. Here we go. Audrey's going out. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to be a straight pass. We'll see if she even can get to me before I get to the top of the hill. That'll be the first step. They kind of burned windows here. It's coming. We're not in a very big field here, so I'd like to dump, like right now I would like to be dumping. Maybe I should just slow down once so we can do it on the street. Straight pass here, not in the curve at the top. He's coming. We'll just go slow for the first one to get more. I'm being pretty nice because my old man and the guys that I learned how to cart with just threw me right in the fire and just yelled and yelled and yelled until I figured it out. There she is. Can't work off it. So we got a little curve coming up here. I'm just going slow to just keep it in the car. Going three and a half miles an hour in length to go in five and a half, but this is actually the speed that I was going when she pulled up, so she actually matched it really nice. It's just as we go, we're going around kind of a right hand curve here, and I don't want to be going that fast here out of it. The sun is absolutely brutal and where we're looking here. It's, I'm getting the same exact view you are, but the cart is empty, so I know that I'm not going to spill off the other side as long as she keeps it in the center. Uh, it might be a little bit close, but that's alright. I wasn't very cold either. Wow, I gotta wash that window. The sun is absolutely just like at the worst angle possible. We're gonna get a little shade right here. Maybe that'll help. There it is. Now you can see it. And there it's gone. Oh, he didn't spill any beans. That's good. Give him a thumbs up. I got a big smile, so that was good. She actually planted this field, so that's kind of cool. Had her drill up here, drilled, drilled in the beans. They look pretty good. I don't see anywhere missed, so that's always good. Of course, now you can see out the window just fine. That's show business, so. Pretty sweet hunting shack right here. Now she'll be right my way. Oh, she backed up. Oh. When you push in the clutch, it's gonna go backwards if you don't push the brakes. 
big she just <laughs> Oh, and we're going uphill, and she pushed in the clutch to stop, and she started rolling backwards because she didn't push in the brakes. She's mainly drove CVT transmissions, so like the constant velocity transmissions, where you don't need a clutch, you just push the stick ahead. It's kind of like a hydro, just like a combine. And when you stop with that, the transmission will hold you in place. But that tractor's power shift, so. See if she can. Hope she doesn't roll backwards down the hill. She got it stopped. You'll see that I'm about to call Avery for help, but I just wanted to interject quick while I'm editing this. Is when Avery was filming, he kept talking with his hands, and I kept thinking he was motioning to me too. So you guys got the yapper, and I got the confusion in the green card. We'll update you. Here she's calling me. I better answer. Update. I broke something. Maybe. I, uh, instead of hitting the brake to stop, I hit the clutch to just slow down, and then I hit the brake, and then now, well, let me go forward. So I had to call Avery, and when he comes back around, he'll help me fix it. It's a rookie mistake. Alright, another dump on the go here. We've done one off camera. Went pretty good. Always lined up in position to... Get this dump and we will see how she goes. She did a good job last time. A little squirrely Dan, but uh, she'll get her figured out. Hopefully, this one we can see a little better on camera. The sun should be the other way, so. Much more, much more good. A little bit close. You saw it, it moved away a little bit. That was good. Don't get close. Which is mine when you're empty, but when you're trying to fill the car up all the way, there we go, right there. We're at the end of our pass right here. Nice work. Flawless execution on that one. That was perfect. A little squirrely, but you got it reeled in. That's all that matters. You probably take that one out to the semi. I think the semi is out there. They just have him loaded, so. You got the thumbs up. There won't be enough to fill in, but you might as well get empty. Nice work. She's hired. All it takes is doing it. You just have to get thrown to the gauntlet. She hates it because she wants precise instructions, but sometimes you just gotta dive in head first and figure it out. And when we're telling you when we're telling her what to do, we're not yelling at her. We're just you know she she wants to be perfect, so like when we're telling her she's doing something wrong, obviously she doesn't like that. But the only way to learn is to get thrown into it and get told what you're doing wrong and figure it out and correct. So she'll get it. All it takes, all it takes is doing it. You just have to do it. If you don't do it, you'll never figure it out. So she did a good job there. And we'll uh, keep rolling. Oh, Mason and Emily. <laughs> slow down here. Mason and Emily were uh, moving the heads. I think they've had quite the debacle because Mason got stuck on the hill. We had to pull him out with the. Go in front of that guy. We had to pull him out with the chain. 
Oh, the really? Tractor. Really? Like, we had to hook the tractor and the green cart up to in front of him. He was in the tractor and the green cart. I was in your truck. We were stuck on the side of the hill. I had to hold the brake, pop her in neutral, keep holding the brake till he got the chain tight. And then he pulled us out and I had to navigate him. So that was step one. <laughs> <laughs> then <laughs> we're driving up here. Mind you, Mason is more competent. More, I shouldn't say more competent. He's more confident at driving with a head cart behind him and he just you know takes off floor in it which is fine except for this old truck combined with my driving combined with also letting a lot of cars get in front of or in between us he takes off well i finally <coughs> had her to the floor i literally had this to the floor like <laughs> <finger. laughs> meanwhile the head cart's just flailing by. oh good <laughs> and um I finally catch up to him. Well, he takes the wrong exit. So then we have to go through not one, but two roundabouts. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, pulls into this field, which there's a blind, like it's a blind corner, or like a corner right up, like it's a blind driveway, it's actually pulling into this field because there could be one more that comes flying around. So I almost had a panic about it, but the horse tried to go to the <laughs> And then whatever we get in and i pull up to mason i'm like this this is already into a cut field and i'm like you know this is not right and he was like yeah it's one one exit, it, one one exit. yeah well he gets again we go through not one but two roundabouts and he gets in front of me and stuff and there's like a bunch of cars in between us well he gets so far ahead of me that i by the time i get on the highway i can't see him not a clue and I know the home farm for oh, the farm, the farm we're going, going to is actually two exits further. So I'm like, also my meanwhile my phone died during this entire thing. So I'm like, well I can't see Mason. I'm just gonna go up to the home farm because that's yeah. That's, that's a good. It's a it's a pretty good bet. That's maybe actually where we're supposed to go, and he was wrong with the one exit. Considering he already took the wrong exit, I don't know. Well, he wasn't wrong. I was wrong. Yeah. So, so then, then <laughs> Mason Mason pulls in the field. Keep in mind, the combines at this point, it's like a half hour drive, twenty minute drive with a pickup, and we're already in the field waiting in the combines. I expected them to be there with the heads unstrapped, ready to go, and. Yeah, this was your exit here. Yeah. <laughs> so we're waiting and then Mason comes screaming in with my truck. Emily is nowhere to be seen. He's like, she's lost for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, oh God, she's going to be pissed. And I knew your phone was dead. So I was like, whatever. We got that head unhooked and onto the other combine and him and I went flying out. I'm like, I'm betting she went to the home farm. So we went to the goal to get you at the home oh, farm and oh, then we met you on the you, road mind you i so i we're going this yes, way i know so i drive past the home farm oh and, god you went past the home farm yeah well because there's no combines in sight so i was like okay maybe the field's like past i don't know yeah and then i'm like definitely then as i get past i'm like you know that's definitely not right so then i turn onto a road because i see this like farm fields that has already been cut so i'm like okay there's going to be a field driveway that i could easily turn into a turn around well i do into this random person's field so i'm so sorry but then i'm sitting there and i'm like i'm just this innocent farmer's <laughs> fiance don't come out and shoot me oh by the way <laughs> did you talk to somebody no, oh. but it was like, it looked like a farm that could potentially like be like, don't trust pastors, go out. Yeah. And then you guys came screeching. Yep. And then were you happy to see us? Yeah. <laughs> well, I did know. I was like, I need to get back on and like go down and exit. So like, that was my plan. If you didn't come in to yeah. me, I was just going to come down to this exit. Also, I'm supposed to be going to yoga in 20 minutes. I don't think that's going to no. be happening. No, I think you're done with that. <laughs> All right, that's the tea. We're now we're pulling into the field. Well, to add even more to this story, so Mason knew that I was also trying to go to yoga. So then when we pulled into the field, he unhooked the pin from the head trailer that I was attached to. And he was like, go, go, go. So I tear off in our farm truck. 
I somehow make it back to my house by like 6.50, run inside, change, get all ready for yoga, get to yoga, and I get to the studio two minutes after the class started and I ended up not making it. So that was the end of the video. They had an uneventful night. I was the only one with the eventful night. So with that, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.